Going through the Pomona Health Career Ladder, I knew I wanted to do something in the health professions. And so there were so many, you know, pathways. I was like, which one should I choose? Which one speaks to me? And so I had an experience in 10th grade where I was wearing glasses since the first grade, but in 10th grade, that prescription was just a little different from the others. And I was able to experience 20-20 vision for the first time. And so that really opened my eyes and changed my life in terms of being able to see in a resolution that many people were seeing on a daily basis. That really changed my perspective and how I got really interested in optometry. So those two experiences, in addition to all the you know, exposure I had at Pomona Health Career Ladder, really started me to think, oh, I think I want to go into optometry. I want to learn more about this health profession. And so I was able to go more into seeing, um, scribing in a, an optometry office with Dr. Roberta Perlman. So being able to have that connection and then later on Shepev, being able to see the student side of being an optometry student was very eye-opening. The pipeline is a long commitment and whenever we make investments in our students we have to be patient that those seeds are planted and that it may take a long time for them to germinate. And we are now with Crystal seeing those seeds germinate. Uh, we, we planted those seeds in 2011. We started a program in cooperation with local institutions to bring students like Crystal from the community to the health professions. Uh, and, and Crystal has been the first to come through that process. I went to Palomar's Academy of Health Sciences and that's when I learned about Western Youth Saturday Pipeline called Pomona Health Career Ladder. So those happened around once a month on a Saturday morning and we would be invited to come onto Western U's campus and they would have an itinerary all ready for us with all different types of uh, agendas, topics to explore in the health career. Uh, profession. So it could be about different professions, it could have been about wellness, nutrition, uh, emergency preparedness. There are just so many different types of strategies and topics that they prepared for us. It was very enjoyable. I got to really experience an environment um, for uh, health careers that I wouldn't have been able to otherwise. I started my undergrad at Pitzer College, and during that time, I was invited for to come back for one of the Saturday Pomona Health Career Ladder sessions by Dr. Elizabeth Rega. And there, that's when she told me about a summer program that they were starting that year. And so it was SHPEP which is the Summer Health Professions Education Program. She told me to apply for it. It was the first time that Western U was going to have it here on their campus. We would go into different respective health care tracks. And so that's where I spent my time in optometry, in the labs, learning more about what we do as optometrists, vision screenings, um, slit lamp skills like that was the first time I touched a slit lamp and I remember being amazed by seeing the iris for the first time and so those experiences really cemented my decision to pursue optometry. I only applied to Western U. That was the only optometry school I applied to because I knew that it was the only one I wanted to have that experience with and I knew that I would be supported here and that I would flourish here in this environment and I didn't want to go anywhere else for optometry school. Being here for the winter rotation of my fourth year, I'm coming into contact a lot with a lot of the third years, second years, and first years at Western U and you know coming into contact with them i'll ask them how they're doing they'll you know have questions for me how are rotations going how did i go through boards um, these are the organizations i'm interested in should i apply what should i do 
And so I'm always happy to answer their questions. Um, I think being a mentor just means being able to provide support for others who are coming up towards your point in life. I will genuinely miss having her around. I will miss seeing her in the hallways. I will truly miss her motivation of her classmates, the way that she's interacted with her classmates, and the ability to gently nudge others to do their best as well. Um, she's been a fantastic member of the family. It will be like saying goodbye to someone that you've raised, in a sense. So it will certainly um, be bittersweet on graduation day. It's kind of crazy. Um, I've known Western New for more than half of my life, since starting middle school up till now, 14 years, it's a long time. Um, but I know that I've been taken care of and I've just been so grateful for all the support I've gotten so far. And I know that it's not a relationship that'll end with graduation. It's something that will go on for life.